hey everyone this is the next video in our series about api gateway so as promised in the first video we are going to cover netflix jewel and spring cloud gateway so first we are going to see netflix jewel and how we can use this netflix jewel to work this as an api gateway right and how we can call the different microservices from a single service right so this uh, first of all let me brief you about netflix jewel what is it all about okay so this is the api gateway source code repository green learner api gateway you can bookmark this or follow this page to get the changes in the code so whatever example that i am going to show you here i am going to push it here right and the table of content you can also get this right so this is the one video that i already have made and this is the playlist that you can go through about it right so coming to netflix jewel this is the official github page for the netflix jewel source code right so this is about jewel as an edge service that provides dynamic routing monitoring resiliency security and many more features right and if you want to know more about this uh, you can go to the netflix tech blog page and which is here right here right so i'm going to explain this page also but the scope of this video to just show you the example how it is going to work and what the function of this right uh, then we are going to talk about jewel in detail in the next video right so just uh, move ahead let me show you this also if you remember this is the page that i have already have explained you that uh, this is the api gateway and this is the front end dashboard uh, anything any back end work it can also be and these are the different services for online doc portal these are the sample services like patient details location details and medicine details we are going to create these services individually rest services and we are going to configure this api gateway and api gateway Joule. Joule is going to work as an API gateway in this case and then we are going to access doctor details, disease details, patient details through this Joule service where Joule is configured, right? So let me speed up things and create the services first, right? So let me move to this. So this is the simple, simple one. This is the sim very simple REST service that I already have created. Okay, so to create this, you can go to this Spring Initializer page, right? So you can configure this COMGL and this demo, any name you can give. And for services, you just, uh, I just need Spring Web, right? To create the REST service because I do not have done anything detailed, right? So just the fancy one main controller and i have called given one endpoint which is the get get method right and i'm going to call patients it is going to return me the list of patients right so doctor's method name doesn't matter right so name of the endpoint is the patients and it is going to me the return me this thing list of patients right that's in, in actual scenario this is going to be very different so this is for the example and how routing works and how api gateway works the scope of this video right so this is the patient service similarly this is the doctor service we have main controller where it is returning just list of doctors string right and disease services same way it is returning here list of diseases right and with endpoint diseases right so we are going to configure this and we in api gateway these doctors doctor doctor disease patient details to this api gateway and we are not going to call directly this doctor detail disease detail and patient details but this api gateway and this api gateway further going to call this doctor and disease details let me show you the in the example then it will be more clear right so this and let me show you the port also this service is running on 8081 and patient services is running on 8083 right and doctor services is running on port 8082 so 8081 8283 are the different ports where our services is running and now we are going to create our api gateway so move to spring starter io that we have right so you just uh, go here give it some name api gateway right and here i need spring wave uh, this dependency spring web is not uh, required here but we can give it so main dependency here is this jewel right and to check the health of the application i can give actuator spring boot actuator right so these are the three dependencies that is required for this 
this joule joule is the main part here right so i can select as as gradle project and i can generate this project okay so this is the api gateway you go ahead download this one by doing this extract this and open it in intellij idea so this part i already have done i have extracted it and opened it in intellij idea already this i have given it name dr portal driver gateway so this is the api gateway right so this service is working whatever dr portal api gateway is this one right this is the dr portal gateway dr portal gateway this is going to work like that okay so let me how this service is going to work as a routing service routing service when i am saying it is the api gateway right because the function of api gateway is the routing request because it some request is coming with some token and it is going to route that to a particular service related to that token right so this is a simple spring boot application and i am going to use one annotation enable joule proxy and proxy server we have to so i am going to use enable joule proxy right so if i go here enable joule it has enable circuit breaker target retention import so when you have a uh, your joule enable joules proxy annotation you are getting circuit breaker by default with it right so if you do not know about circuit breaker watch the previous video that i already have uploaded this is basically for the fault tolerance and resiliency okay if your service is failing it it can make you return a default response based on that instead of failing the other services it is going to return the default response if the your uh, third party service your remote service is not responding right so this is the function of this enable joule proxy it is going to make your service work as a api gateway as a routing service right so api gateway and routing service interchangeably i am going to use this word so do not get confused with it right so this is the annotation that i have used there is no any other class here other things that is there is the configuration right so i have application yaml here server port i have configured it so it is our api gateway is going to run on port 8100 and this is the configuration detail joule then routes and this is the name of the route that i am going to give okay so this is basically name of the token that you are going configuring here right so uh, with which you will be calling so it will be more clear in a subsequent step and then url you are going to configure the url that you have so doctor service uh let me move here so doctor service is running on port 8082 right so that is why i have given it a http localhost 8082 so doctor service if i call doctor service it is going to call the http localhost 8082 so this is it that i need uh, to route the request so for this simplicity i am just using only one only the, i have configured only doctor service so let me go ahead and start this service and subsequently i am going to configure other services also first first focus on the one right how routing is happening right so i am going to call this doctor service it is going to call this one so when i am i want to call this endpoint here main controller doctors let's see how i am going to call this so first let me show you this this doctor service how is it working right so what i am going to do local host uh, what port was that uh, under 8082 right so we have 8082 and doctors we have a local host 8082 doctors so this is the individual doctor service that i am calling right so but this same response and this same endpoint i am going to call from this api gateway right so it is running now and it is running on port 8100 and i am going to make call this endpoint right here see the syntax that i am writing It's local host 8100 right this is the port and this is the name of the doctor service right and doctors doctors so this doctor service that i am name 
after the host port and this context this path that i am giving this is same as this one right this is relating to this one doctor service and this right so if i hit it here so what it is going to do this doctor service is going to call this url with the next path that it has right so with this localhost 8100 i am going to call this api gateway and with this doctor service it is going to identify that i am going here and subsequently i am going to call this url and after that whatever endpoint that i have doctors it is going to call it is going to this path this service that is running there and going to see if there is any endpoint with this name with what if, what is the next doctors right so it is going to call that so if i make it incorrect doctors 123 it is not going to response status 404 because there is nothing like that doctors 123 right so just remove this and list so and here also if i am giving it incorrect name this routing path routing token i am giving it incorrectly so it is also going to throw an exception 404 because there is nothing like doctor service 123 token right so portal gateway if i show you there should be okay yeah so so here we have token as doctor service right not doctor service 123 that is why it is showing error right so we have configured doctor service in the same way we can configure other services like like disease details patient details right so let me go ahead and configure that also portal and doctor service and what name i want to give there patient service right and what url i am going to give so let me copy it paste it here so our patient service is running on which port 8083 right so configure 8083 right and one more service we have what is that so we have disease services right so just i'm copying here and let me paste it here right so patient service these are duplicates keys so dr patient we have disease service right so all three services has been configured and this is running on port 8081 digit service was running on port 8081 so i am going to restart this application because we have made changes to the configuration and then and then we can call each service disease patient doctor services from the api gateway directly right so just let the application start and i'm going to show you that great application is running now okay so let me move ahead this one so doctor service it is working correctly right so let me duplicate this space and here let me configure disease services right and here i have endpoint as disease right so disease not diseases i think so list of diseases i got it right so duplicate this page again and now get the patient services right so under patient services we have endpoint as patient so it is returning me list of patients right so from the same service from this api gateway localhost 8100 right so if i copy it here and show you the similarity in the paths that we have right so now just speed up i am trying to show you the similarity that it has so we have same localhost 8100 for all the things and these are the doctor services doctor service disease service patient service right and these are the respective endpoints so this is the doctor service disease service and this is the routing tokens that you are going to route uh, which one to call right so this is here main funda here is the of this jewel routes and this is the path 
that you are going to give to call individual service and then subsequent you know this token and it means that you are aware of the endpoints that this service has right so you can call directly those things right so this is the basic one basic routing thing that api gateway provides apart from this there are many many things like logging and intercepting the request and response there are different kinds of filters that joule provides uh, that you can see here uh, this is the portal here that they have given uh, netflix at service in the cloud and there is many more thing to know about the joule right should filter and all so that we are going to deep dive right so functioning is important that that is why i already explained you routing thing and I'm, next i'm going to uh, explain you about the filters and the uh, auditing logging that uh, you can do with the jewel so till then uh, and one more thing i'm going to uh, update this playlist under here uh, in this one right so in this playlist and the source code that i already explained you i'm going to upload that here in this repository right so you keep this bookmark and check out this page so uh, play around with this and see the more about the jewel and this is the reference page official documentation spring cloud documentation that i am taking reference from you can directly go there and see more about it and i i highly encourage you to do that right so because this is the thing that uh, from where i am taking reference reference and you can directly take reference from there and learn more about it right so you take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye